Hello, all you healthy blood pressure warriors. My name is Ingrid, and I want to welcome you to the HealthyBloodPressure.com channel. Have you been wanting to check your blood pressure at home, but you're not sure which type of monitor to buy? In this video, I'm going to compare the wrist and arm blood pressure monitors. For many people, high blood pressure is a chronic condition. This means that if you're dealing with hypertension, you may have to monitor your blood pressure frequently. In some cases, the doctor may advise you to monitor your blood pressure at home. This is a convenient option, but choosing the right blood pressure monitor can be tricky. There are many at-home monitors out there, but they all can be categorized into two types, the upper arm monitor and the wrist monitor. Let's take a look at the pros and cons for both of these types. So, what is an upper arm monitor? This is the type of monitor you see at the doctor's office. It has a cuff that the doctor wraps around your upper arm. Then they take the reading of your blood pressure. An upper arm monitor can be digital or analog. A digital monitor instantly displays your blood pressure on a handheld screen. An analog monitor has a rubber ball that squeezes the cuff, and a dial marks the blood pressure. These dials are harder to read. Often only medical experts can read those results. Let's talk about the advantages. An upper arm monitor has the highest accuracy. This is true for both digital and analog monitors. They are also easier to place as the position of the upper arm cuff naturally lies close to the heart. It's essential to measure the pressure from a position closer to the heart to get proper readings. What are some drawbacks? A digital upper arm blood pressure monitor can be expensive. An analog monitor is cheaper, but it's harder to read. Its parts can also damage easily, causing it to become ineffective. What is a wrist monitor? As the name suggests, a wrist monitor measures the blood pressure from your wrist. You need to place the cuff around your wrist instead of your upper arm. A portable digital screen then displays your blood pressure readings. This type of monitor isn't commonly found at the doctor's office, and we'll get into the reasons for its limitations shortly. For now, let's talk about the benefits. The primary benefit of a wrist blood pressure monitor is its portability. Upper arm monitors can be bulky and difficult to carry when you're traveling. But if you need to monitor your blood pressure daily, you must carry it along. This is where a small wrist monitor may help. It can also be useful for those who have large upper arms where no cuff would fit. Some people may also have arm disabilities, and that's also the right reason to buy a wrist pressure monitor. Let's talk about the limitations. Wrist blood pressure monitors aren't as accurate as upper arm monitors, and there are two reasons for that. One reason is that the blood vessels in your wrist are too close to the skin. This makes getting the correct reading difficult. And secondly, Wrist monitors have to be placed at the right spot. This is where most people make mistakes. Some people also don't hold the wrist at the heart level while taking a reading. Both of these mistakes can cause your final blood pressure readings to be inaccurate. What does the research say? Let's see what the studies say about wrist blood pressure monitors. In 2016, scientists at the University of Padua in Italy studied wrist monitors. 721 people participated in this study. They trained everyone how to measure their blood pressure with these devices at home. They also took their readings at the office. They found that 621 participants had a home measurement error of at least 5 units. This showed that wrist monitors are more prone to errors due to lack of proper use. In 2018, a group of researchers in Canada conducted another study. The study used wrist monitors that operated with cloud-based blood pressure algorithms. They were calibrated with direct pressure readings of 20 participants. The calibrations tend to significantly reduce accuracy errors in wrist blood pressure monitors. Further clinical trials are needed, especially those with repeated use over time using the calibrated wrist device in order to more fully understand the reliability for helping to manage high blood pressure treatments. It's important to know when to seek help. You probably measure your blood pressure at home because your doctor told you so. 
In such a case, it's best to ask your doctor about the right kind of home monitor. Ideally, you should take your monitor to the doctor's office regularly to make sure the readings are accurate. And this is true for both upper arm monitors as well as wrist monitors. Also, ask your doctor about the frequency at which you should monitor your blood pressure. And if anything looks off the chart, seek immediate medical attention. Monitoring your blood pressure regularly and accurately can help you avoid delays when your body needs expert advice. Be sure of the device you buy, even getting recommendations from those who use them or by checking out reviews from the internet. And also make sure you follow the recommended guidelines on how to use your new blood pressure monitor. Share what blood pressure monitor you're happy using in the comments below. Hi there, if you suffer from high blood pressure like I do and you wanna receive my educational videos about how to lower your blood pressure, I'd like to ask you to do three simple things right now. Number one, click the subscribe button right there. And then number two, click on the bell icon right down there so that I can notify you the moment I release a new video. And number three, watch another one of my more popular healthy blood pressure videos right over there. Okay, thanks for watching and have a happy and healthy day.